Um, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm one of 12 kids and we all sort of, we're homeschooled. Um, my dad, you know, he told us we couldn't graduate high school until we'd started the business and sort of run it for a certain amount of time just to get some experience with, you know, what it took to run a business. And um, so we all kind of do our own thing, those of us who have graduated. So I guess it's, you know, one of my, one of my things. So, so this is like a passion of yours? Yeah, yeah, it's become one. Like I just started it about a year and a half ago, but it's, So this is the question everybody's going to be asking. Where did name Figgy come from? Okay, yeah, everybody does ask that. Um, it's kind of a, a lame story. <laughs> um, I wish it was more interesting, but basically uh, the Christmas carol that says come bring us the Figgy Pudding. I always thought Figgy Pudding sounded really funny just to say it. So I was like, who Figgy Pudding? So funny. <laughs> so I just used that as my email address and then it kind of was my username online for different things. Um, and then people just started using it as a nickname or whatever. So when I started my photography business, actually, um, I didn't want to use my name because it's just kind of boring and whatever. But I also worked with other people and I didn't want like my name, you know, on their work. So I wanted something sort of generic and, you know, now it turns out to be a really good memorable name. That I was like, oh yeah, I've heard of Figgy. <laughs> so, yeah, half the time people can't remember my real name now. <laughs> so, yeah, you're that Figgy girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And it kind of happened on that accidentally, but yeah, it's, it is important. So. Okay, so.